And today I want to try and solve some lead code problems. I will start with level easy because I feel pretty comfortable with this level. And before I start solve any problem, the first thing I do, I'll try, I try, I'm trying to understand what they want from me. Because if you don't understand what they want from you in the problem, it will be kind of hard to solve something that you don't really understand. And I think this, this mistake happens a lot and it happened to me many times. I was trying to code without really understand what they want from me. So let's begin. We have an array, given an array of nums, which in our case is a list of integers. We define a running sum of an array as running sum i index, sum, sum zero, blah, 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 nums i. Let's say, Honestly, from the description, I can't really fully understand what you want from me, but that's why we have the examples here and in the examples, we can see if we understand more. So this is our input, which is a list of integers, nums 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, the output is 1, 2, 3, 6, 10. But how do we get this output? So here's the explanation. Running sum is obtained as follows. 1, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 plus 3, 1 plus 2 plus 3, plus 3 plus 4. Means we're going through the list of integers one by one, and then we add the value of the next integer to our previous integer. We start from 1, then we go next, so we add 1 plus 2. Then we go next, which is 3. Then we go next, then we add 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is 6. So our values in the output will be 1, 3, 6, and eventually 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, which is 10. So this is our output. And this is the test case that we're going to check. So before I start any coding, I prefer to write a pseudocode for myself to kind of keep myself in a, you know, to, to know what I'm doing. So first of all, we go through list of integers, right? So I want to go through, I think it would help you, right? The list of integers. This is the first thing that I want to do. The second thing I want to do, I want to define I want to define an integer. I want to define a new integer actually. And I will explain you why. I want to define a new integer cuz I'm going through this list of integers, right? But I need somewhere some place to store to store the new value of the summary of the numbers that, that I will have. For example, I will add 1 plus 2. I need to store it somewhere, right? So for that, I want to create a new integer, integer and this is where I'm going to store the, the sum of the numbers. So I will create a new integer and it will be 0 at, at the beginning. Another thing that I want to do, I want to create a new list. The list is to eventually to give the output because the list that I have right now, I have these values that were given to me, which is nums. I want to create a new list with all of the new values with the sum, sum of numbers, which will be 1, 3, 6, and 10 in this specific test case. So create a new list. What else I want to do? I want to... I think that's enough for a pseudocode. The, at the end, I will just return the list. Okay, I think we can start and write the code. And I prefer to delete this just to so it will look a little bit cleaner. So okay, let's start from the beginning of my pseudocode. I want to go through the list of integers. Okay, sounds easy. For let's say i in nums. I'm going through the list of integers. Okay. Then I want to define a new integer and it's going to be zero. Let's define it here. Let's call it a for example. A will be zero. Then I want to create a new list and my list 
is empty, of course. Now, this is the part where I need to do the math, which means every time I'm going through these numbers, I need that a, which is my new integer, will add the value of i plus a. So in my case, I start with 0. So a is 0. And when it will start and go through the list of integers, first of all, it will add 1. So a will be 1. Then a will be 3. Then a will be 6. And then a will be 10. All of these values, one by one, I want to store inside this list. So I will use the function append. So list append, which is built-in function inside Python. And I want to append a every time I'm going through the integer. Eventually, when it will finish the loop, I want to return a. And actually, I don't need the space here. OK. Let's try and run the code and see if it works. And I have a runtime error, and let's see why. So we have A, we have, okay, let's see, return is not valid value for expected return. Oh, of course, because I want to return a list. This is my mistake. Happens. So let's try to run the code again. Okay, looks like it works. This was our test case. Let's try to submit. And it looks like it works. Um, guys, if you have any questions, send me a message and I will try to answer. And if you need any help, I will try to help. And I hope you enjoy this problem solving. Thank you. Bye bye.